Now, many Southeast Texans will be shooting fireworks on the days leading up to the 4th of July. Some fireworks vendors say this is to be expected, but for them to remember that these objects are flammable and to be aware of your surroundings you don't, so you don't cause an accident. KFDM's Aaron Mack reports. Amber Cohen and her daughter demonstrating how to safely handle and set off fireworks. And, but we want everybody to be safe. And with the dry conditions that we have, just be smart. You know, use your head. Make sure you're popping somewhere that's not a heavily wooded area. Amber's family owns Highway 105 Fireworks, which stands near Keith Road and here at the entrance to Bevel Oaks. They've been in the business for 10 years. Amber has seen it all. But what she doesn't want to see? Um, explosives and alcohol definitely don't mix, so make sure you've got sober friends doing the lighting. It's a good idea to light your fireworks in a wide open area away from trees or power lines or any other obstacles that you might have. Fire Chief Chris Gonzalez with Emergency Services District 1 says it's important not to waste time if there's an accident. You know, if something should light off in a field or someplace, they th immediately call 911. As a fire department, we would like to get it in its incipient stage when it's first started and not be battling a two-acre fire. He says despite the high heat and humidity, conditions aren't as bad as you may think. Yeah, right now uh, we're still uh, getting plenty of uh, rain in our area that although it's hot and dry, the grass is still green. It's not drying up into a, a brown, uh, I guess, condition, dead condition where the fires would eat more easily light off. Make sure that you've got a bucket of water or a fire extinguisher handy just in case you have an accident and keep your extra fireworks away from where you're actually doing the lighting so you don't accidentally light up your pile. Advice to help you have fun safely so when the fourth ends, you can start planning ahead for next year's celebration. In Bevel Oaks reporting, Aaron Mack. Now, Cohen says to double check and see if any of your launcher tubes look damaged or bent or wrapped in or warped, excuse me, in any way to prevent accident or injury.